Hey guys, this is Abyss on EverQuestBot.com here to show you EQBot 2.0. All right, uh, this is something I've been working on for a while now. Um, it's a log-based bot. I love it to death. Um, I normally it's three box and six box in the TLP servers, which everybody knows is progression is true box. So it's normally one piece or one tune per PC. So I'm showing you my three box setup here. I have my warrior, my mage, and my cleric. So my mage and my clerics are already running EQBot in the background. So they're all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to show you some of the new features. So on EQBot, I have made it so that you can read off of group chat, tells, and your customized chat um, chat channels. So you can set up your own chat channels in game. You can, um, you can make them passworded and whatnot if you like. Um, I normally use group and tells. Um, simply because when I six bot, uh, six box, I can normally just, just type it in group and, you know, they react. Or if I'm grouping with other people and just three boxing, like with my guild or something like that, I normally just do tells. So I'm going to show you how it works now. Um, like I said, it's running. So what I'm going to do now is simply just type sit slave in my group window and they're both going to sit. Simple as that. Um, stand slave and they are going to both stand. So that's one of the, the corporate, that's, that's, that's something I have built into it. You can instantly type and they react to it. Now these commands you can see on everquestbot.com, there's a lot of them. There's um, assist commands, there's casting commands, there's sending your pet commands and all that. Um, so if you look on there, you can see the commands that you have. Now these commands can only be sent by your master that you have specified in your EQBot client. So right now my warrior is specified as as you know the the main guy. So if I have somebody else come up, you know, and just want to see if I'm botting or something, and they're familiar with my website and whatnot, and send command to, like like my mage for an example, my mage wouldn't do anything because it wouldn't even react to it because that character is not specified in your client. So that's a safety measure I put in there. Um, so I'm going to show you some real stuff now. Like um, I showed you that they can sit, they can stand. So now I'm going to try, I'm going to show you them standing or jumping. So all I'm going to do is just type in jump and they're both going to jump. All right, so let's, and also EQBot has everything mapped out. It has all your gear, all your gear slots mapped out. So let's say my cleric has clicky legs that, you know, you can right click and it will cast a group heal. So what you got to do is just type in use legs and my cleric will automatically see that and automatically cast his legs and it should be casting the heal. Boom. All right. So now what I can do for my mage is I want to cast, let's say a group DS. So what I'm going to do here is type in cast spell slot seven because my group DS is in spell slot seven. So what I'm going to do is just type that in, hit enter, boom. And it's going to already cast my group DS. No lag. Everything's instantaneous in real time. So you should see it now casting all of us. Boom. Easy as that. Now, if I want to have, let's say my mage has a pet and it's summoned. Right now it isn't. So if he had a summon pet out, all I had to do on my warrior is just continue XP, you know, target the mom, kill it, whatnot. And I'll just type pet attack and hit enter. And my mage will automatically assist my warrior and send in the pet. No problems at all there. And um, what else can I show you? Okay, like... Um, like a 2.0, I incorporated some healing features for my cleric. Um, so these healing features can be used in any healing class, of course. So all I gotta do is type in heal group member one. And what this command will do is this will allow my cleric to automatically target my group member one um, and then cast heal. So I'm gonna send that and it's automatically to target my warrior since he's group member one. And then boom, easy as that summons. Now I'm going to do group member two. So what this is going to do is have my cleric target my mage and then cast the heal without even me interfering with my cleric's computer. So heal group number two. Boom, heals my cleric.
or heals my mage. It's as easy as that. I mean, you could, and then you also have cast, assist, spell, one. So what this would do, like on my mage, it would automatically assist my warrior, and it will cast the spell in slot one. Like your DD, direct damage, or anything like that. So that combined with head attack, you got a fully 100% working mage bot. I mean, you can even use, um, also cast, cast assist spell one. What this would do if you don't have a mount is that this is actually a macro within EQ bot. It will have the mage automatically stand up. It will automatically assist whoever you set the assist to be in your EQ bot um, client. And then it will cast spell one. And then after your spell is done casting, it will automatically sit your mage. Um, it's as cool as that and as simple as that. Like I said, you can use these commands in group. You can use them in tell. You can even use them in your own chat channel. Um, what else I can show you? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you this too. This is also a cool feature I've incorporated into EQBot. So what you can do here is type in follow master. So this command right here will tell your boxes, no matter how many you have, you have a full raid, or if you have just six, seven, eight, whatever, it will automatically target your master, which in this case is my warrior, and automatically follow him. So I'm just going to type that, follow master, they're going to target me, and they're going to automatically follow. Boom. Look at that. It's easy as that. And then if I want to have them sit, sit slave, and they both sit. EQ bot is one of a kind bot. This bot does not read nor write its memory. It um, is 100% legal in my opinion. I mean, it just simply reads off your logs and it cross references it with my program and it allows you to do commands. Similar to Gina in that aspect, um, the cool things about this bot is, like I said, it doesn't read or write memory. It never needs to be updated unless I add new things to it. So on patch days, you can just load your box team right on up and get going. You don't got to wait for me to update the build or anything like that. It's just ready to go. Um, like I said, it's a really cool bot. I'm actually really proud of this bot. Um, I use it all the time, and um, it never fails me. Um, what can I do? What can I show you next on this bot? Um, like I said, uh, you have all these... Cast assist, you know, spell one, two, three, four, five, six. You even have all your hot buttons mapped out. Like on my cleric, if I wanted to cast, like, let's say, if I wanted to use my red stick in primary, all I'll have to do is use primary. Boom. And this right here will stand up my cleric and my other tunes, and it will use a primary on my cleric. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Or you could just use a command which I've incorporated, which I totally forgot about, which is use res, you res stick. So you send in use res stick, and the corpse I have targeted on my main, on my warrior, my cleric will automatically target and will automatically res that corpse. Um, and all these commands, you don't even need to touch your actual computers. So these computers could be running in the background or away from you or whatnot or behind you. And you could just type in these simple commands, follow master. And they will follow me. And I can do whatever I want, just on a single player PC. I mean, I can control as many as 20 boxes plus more if you have the PCs and the, the RAM to handle that. I mean... It's a really amazing bot. It's smooth. It's in real time. There's no problems with it. Um, I work on it every day, release new updates. And you could view the entire command list on everquestbot.com. There's probably at least 20 commands I have so far that does anything from automatically targeting, assisting, attacking, assist attacking, um, uh, clicking red sticks, clicking mage epic staffs, they even have this cool feature that I just built in that um, that let's say your mage pet dies, you can um, you can type in the commands mage pet, and it'll check to see if you have a mage pet already summoned. If you do not have a mage pet already summoned, that command will 
delete your epic staff and recast your spell or recast your um your mage pet and then rebuff it as well um also if you don't have your mage epic staff they'll just cast the, your highest level spell um elemental spell that you have memes and then it will presume the um buff it with burnout and whatnot and as simple as that, I mean, mages just gotta be the easiest one to use EQ bot with. I mean, like I said, you can just keep fighting with your, you know, your tank or whatnot, and then just type in pet attack when you want your mage pet to come in, and then boom, it's easy as that. Or if you don't even have to type it, you can just set up, you know, these hotkeys here, and um, it will uh, automatically do the same thing. So like I said, you could do um, chat channels now, you could do group, and you could do tells. And if you have any questions at all, I'm always on Discord. My name is AbyssKQ. Hop on there. It's at everquestbot.com Discord. You can get a link on the site. And thank you very much for your time.